Hello and welcome back to the Wrexham Way and welcome back to the start of Season 3, the transfer special as we get ready for life in League One. So unless you've been living under a rock for the last 19 episodes, you'll know that we won League Two last season with 101 points. Very clear away from Forest Green and Leighton Orient who came second and third respectively. Walsall ended up winning the playoffs so us four teams have been promoted. But of course League One is very different to League Two so we need to prepare. However, I don't think we need to do much prep because I think our team is really good. So we need to get straight down to business today and start getting some deals done. But before we do that, make sure you do drop a like on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Also, whilst you're down there in the description of the video is a link to my TikTok where I've done some season reviews for season one and season two. So if you wanna get caught up on everything, then make sure you do check those out on TikTok. Anyway, I think we'll start by assessing the team a little bit. I know we did it last episode a little bit, but I think, well, I, I want to explain to you that I think we don't need to make that many signings because Chris Johns, for example, our goalkeeper, supposedly League One level player already. So goalkeeper, absolutely fine. Aaron Hayden is a League One quality player. Absolutely fine. Oliver Street is a centre-back. League Two standard, championship potential, but we started playing him last season and he was phenomenal. A 7.31 average rating in the league across 20 appearances. Like, that's mental. Considering we only put him in there to play a few games to cover injuries, he became a solid starter. So for me, Oliver Street, we don't need to improve on him. Harry Lennon, you know all about him already. Absolute goal machine. 14 in the National League, 7 in League 2, 11 overall last season. He is currently League 2 level, but we know how good he is. Bryce Hosanna, I think, potentially, is League 1 right now, but championship potential. More than happy to have him playing in the team. Medford Smith is a, maybe a player we could improve on a little bit, but he had a fantastic season with a 7.25 average rating. Better than his season in the National League. So... He's just a really good player. Midfield is an area that we could improve on. Uh, we've got James Jones, who's obviously superb. A championship-level player already, apparently, which is brilliant stuff. A player that I do want to start to bring into the fold is Jim McBangle. Now, hear me out on this one. He's just played a season at Halifax in the National League North. Now, going from National League North to League One is a really big step. But he played brilliantly last season for Halifax does have National League player standard right now, but think back to Oliver Street. Oliver Street was National League North or South when he started playing for us. He's now League Two level, solid player. I think the same thing could happen with Jim McBangled. Obviously, Carney will be going back to his parent club, but Brandon Cubbert, when he did play this past season, played pretty well. Three goals, three assists in 29 appearances, 20 starts, nine substitute appearances. Maybe we could look to improve on him a little bit, but... I quite like him through the middle. Also, championship potential, which is great. So we playing games. League 2 current ability. I think he's good enough. And then, of course, the strikers. Paul Mullen, we know all about him. How fantastic he is. League 1 level already, so that's good. And George Alexander, I think, is also League 1 level and championship potential. So, like, I don't think the team needs to be strengthened that much. Obviously, you know I like to have a backup in every single position. So all these positions line up to. So Sani is a sub one, isn't he, for the goalkeeper. We've then got uh, sub two, which would be our right back. Sub three is our right centre back. So we've got uh, Gary as our backup right centre back, who is uh, a really good player, to be fair. League two level, championship potential. I think good stuff. Essentially, what I'm saying is we could go into next season and not make signings, and I think we'd be okay. But... I think we do need a few backup players because there are players down here that I am planning on letting go. Obviously, Bradley and Carney are going to be going back to their parent clubs. Uh, Langton, Tozer, Needham and Drinkwater are all going to have their contracts expiring. So, Oliver Clark and McFadzine, I think, are players that I want to leave the club. Actually, Tozer's not on a contract expire, is he? He's got another year on his contract. So we'll try and sell him at some point. The point is, we've got a good team. It only needs minimal changes. And to be fair, we can't really afford too many changes. If we look at the finances, we have 2.5 million in the bank, but that's only because the board came and gave us 2.4 million recently, which is very kind of them. But as you can see, as recently as April, we were £300,000 in the red. Transfer budget is virtually non-existent and the wage budget is not a huge increase on what we already have. So we've not really got a whole lot of wiggle room. But we are at the 9th of June right now. The transfer window is about to open. 
Let's see what happens. Well, actually saying that, you already know what's going to happen straight away. We do have uh, a good few players ready to join us, which is fantastic. So a few players on free transfers from Premier League clubs, Arsenal and Tottenham specifically. After four weeks of trials at the club, our coaches said all of these players had championship potential, which is why I signed them. So let's see if they actually do. Uh, Amario is an attacking midfielder. He can play across the attacking line, which is fantastic stuff. He... League One potential. Okay, you know what, that's fair enough. Uh, Tino is a left-back who has four caps for Trinidad and Tobago already. <sighs> League One potential. Okay, his championship stuff is not looking great. Uh, Luca Gunter, a goalkeeper. League One potential. Okay, uh, I feel like we're being let down a little bit here. Mauro Bandiera, who I feel like I've had in a save before, but I can't think which one, but I recognise his name. Mm. League One potential. Come on, Jaden Williams, then. Please be the player to have the championship potential, uh, League One potential. Okay, well, my coach has lied to me then. But you never know, these guys could be quite good in the future. I'll just double check they're all gonna play for the under 23s this season. Uh, and we'll probably get them out on loan to a lot of places too. So don't expect to see much of these guys anytime soon. But it's just a few players joining the club. In the meantime, Blackburn want Chris Johns, which is interesting. Uh, Blackburn are in the championship. They came sixth in the championship but didn't get promoted via the playoffs, lost in the playoffs at some point. Okay, fair enough. Um, right, I don't want to sell Chris Johns, but if you're going to buy him, it's half a million pounds. Suggest. Oh, they only want 145. Well, I'm going to put it back up to, I'll put it to 400,000, lock it in, suggest, and they, oh, I've accepted it. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can we find a keeper who's like as good? Contract expiring in like the next month. Uh, goalkeeper, interested in transfer. Who's this guy? Philip, who plays for Aston Villa. Report-wise, National League player, League One potential. Okay, well that's that's not good off the bat. So, okay, expiring contracts is a no. That's not a, that's not a thing there. If I just clear all of that and I press OK. I'll be honest, it doesn't really get much better on scouted keepers either. The best guy is Owen Evans who plays for Cheltenham, League One level unlikely to improve. When did Cheltenham come this past season? 22nd. Oh, so they've just been relegated then. If I compare him with Chris Johns, we don't actually know much about Owen Evans, other than he's as good in the air, better communication and better distribution. I mean, maybe it's not the worst deal in the world. Although Chris Johns' mentors are way, way, way better. You know what? I think Chris Johns is the man to keep. Um, I'm sorry, Blackburn. Reject. Luton want Mullen for pennies. You can't have him. And Portsmouth wants our youngster Callum Reese. You can't have him. So for the first day of transfers, that's actually not too bad, to be fair, as Aaron Hayden is linked with Lincoln City. He's not going to leave the club. Well, they might leave the club. If they offer me like a million pounds, then yeah, I'll sell them. Oh, well, We've got a bid for Kieran Wallace coming through. And I'll be honest, I was kind of thinking about maybe selling him anyway. Like, we used him 31 times last season uh, in the league, 22 starts. Nothing special. I wasn't overly sure. He, went, he was on loan at Lincoln City, was he? I don't remember being on loan at Lincoln City, but this was, like, a long time ago, so... And he had played six games. Okay. Either way, the point is, I am... Um, I'm not convinced by him. Like, he's got some good attributes, but... Yeah. If we could get... Right, his value between 60 and 150. They're giving us 80 in total. So how about... We make it 100 up front. No, not... Yeah, 100 up front. Why not? Go for it. After 20 league appearances, 20,000. And then 500 pounds for uh if i can change this i can't change it. that's the lowest it goes okay we'll, we'll give us that then suggest that they just say yes straight away i think we accept that and this is quite good because that might give us the funds to sign a player that i quite like ah annoyingly i'm not too sure which one it is now basically we don't really have many welsh players in the team so i did a lot of scouting of welsh players over the second half of the season and there was a really good ball winner available it might be Terry Taylor, but he looks very expensive. But I think I think it was him, you know, actually. 
loads of caps for the M21s. A really good player. Burton and what a lot of money for him though, which we um we can't afford. Let's ask his agent about his availability. Uh Burton want between a million and two million. Okay, well that maybe shuts the door on that one. I mean it could have been Louis Thompson, but I don't think it was Louis Thompson. But he does look quite good actually, and is available on a free as a League One level ball winning midfielder. Welsh as well. Good personality to tutor younger players, which actually would be really good. Played one game for Portsmouth in the Championship this season, so he's not being used by Portsmouth. I think Louis Thompson could be quite good, you know. Also played very well the other day against Lincoln City, which was rather frustrating. Um, he wants to be a fringe player, though, which is fine by me. Very cheap contract. Let's get him on a two-year deal. Get rid of that extension after five games, because he could be rubbish. £900 appearance fee. Right, let's get rid of that. I'll, I'll bump your wage up, I'll be honest, and get rid of the new substitute fee. I'll bump your wage up, but I'm not giving that sort of bonus. That's ridiculous. And he's happy with that, okay. I feel like that's a better deal than £900 per appearance. If I get rid of the centre mid bit now as well, just Welsh people in general, there's probably quite a few that might be interested in joining us. We could definitely do with like Liam Shepherd, for example. We do need a little bit of cover on that right-hand side now that Connor Bradley's going back. 28, a couple caps for the under-21s would be a useful signing. Leading League 2 player could get him in on a free transfer. As a backup player, I don't think it'd be that bad to bring in, you know. He wouldn't play many games for us. If we just made him a squad player, he's happy with that. A grand a week is very good on a, on a one-year deal even actually. A one-year deal. He can have extension if he played 20 games, but I'm sure he won't. Good. That's a nice contract. Okay, so a couple of players potentially coming in there to help bolster the Welsh contingent. Oh. Well, that's a bit annoying. Kieran Wallace has rejected the contract from Shrewsbury. I mean, it would have been nice for him to just say, yeah, all right, I'll leave the club, lads, but no. Okay, um... Well, not to worry, I'm sure some clubs will come back in from later on, but I do want to try and get rid of Ollie Clark. So transfer, offer to clubs, unspecified fee right now, but we will transfer, list him, offer to clubs, go. And also, the same with Ben Tozer, transfer, offer to clubs, unspecified, transfer list. Don't really mind how much money we get for them, um, I'd rather sort of just get them off the wage bill. <laughs> but no one wants them, which is a bit annoying because I want to try and raise the funds to buy players in like Sean Rowan, although we can't really compete with that £1.2 million that Brentford have offered for him. Which, if they did in real life, I'd love, because we could do with the money at Lincoln. Huddersfield want James Jones, but he's got no interest in joining them, interestingly. Despite them winning league rather in the championship, okay. Or they will be going into the championship. He doesn't want to go to them. That's fine. Reject it. Solihull Moors, though, have come out and they want Jezreel Davis. So Solihull Moors finished fifth in the National League and are still in the National League. They didn't get promoted. Okay. Jezreel Davis, important player, centre midfielder, deep line playmaker, which is fine because he can do that. That's okay. He's in National League level. Played for East. League. Okay. Let's get him back there at Solihull Moors. Only until January as well, so we could always send him out to League 2 in January. Oh, it's happened. The youth facilities have been upgraded. That was pretty quick. Weirdly quick. So our facilities are now uh, good training, good youth facilities. Okay, that's all right. Junior coaching, good. Youth recruitment average. Yep, that sounds good to me. Can we ask for better, though? Make board request, facilities. I won't ask for facilities just yet. Finances, increase junior coaching. Yes, please. And can we also ask for increased youth recruitment? And because we can't ask for more money, because for whatever reason we can't, for transfer budget, I should say, I'll use the final request to ask for a senior affiliate, please. Hello, how can we help you? I'd like to have a senior affiliate, please, so we can boost our income a little more. We agree. 
finally. Okay, there should be an affiliate club coming soon then. Ah, and the board have got back to me a few days later saying, yes, we can do better junior coaching. It's now gone from good to excellent, which is great. And they have rejected the youth recruitment. Ah, oh, lads, come on. We need better youth recruitment. It's a competitive region that we're in. We need to stay competitive. It's fine. It's not fine, lads. We can always do better. And they keep telling me no. And finally, with the club's finances in this state, we can't consider it. Okay, so weird. But junior coaching is now excellent. Youth recruitment average, better than it was, right? Right, excellent stuff. The first signing of summer has been agreed. Liam Shepard joining us on a free for a season to be our backup right back. Obviously, his contract is not quite fully up at Salford, so he'll be with us at the end of this month. It might not be the most ambitious signing in the world, but we don't need ambitious signing. We just need players to fill the gaps. He's a leading League Two player, which to me suggests that he's a good League One player. Also, the board have come back and said they can't find any clubs that they want to form a link with. Right. Also, Louis Thompson set to sign for us as well. I think that's a pretty good deal. So two players who are both Welsh joining the club. So Jake Hyde, Rob Lainton, Tristan Needham, Danny Drinkwater, all contracts due to expire and we are going to set these guys for release. Also a few coaches as well that have decided that I don't want to keep around. Uh, I don't think I can set for release sadly but um, they're not going to get contracts renewed. Also we are getting so many bids for Callum Reese, who is one of our young players who came through our youth intake. He's got a pre-contract organised with us already which is fantastic so we can ignore all these bids basically. And he will get renamed by the Patreon as well. But as I record this, the episode where he has been revealed to you guys has not gone and been uploaded yet. So um, I can't do it just yet because I've not posted on Patreon yet. That made sense in my head, but I don't know if it made sense to you. Oh, but we are getting to that point of the year where things are going to get updated. So we're getting the League 2 review coming through. Are we win the league title? We'll also end up being the biggest overachievers in Morecambe. Apparently the biggest underachievers, but for some reason, the best match of the entire season was a 2-2 draw here. What's that about? Also, very upset that none of my players are on signings of the season. That seems very harsh. The board also want to discuss having more wages for performance analysts. I think the money would better spend elsewhere, lads. Such as investing in the club's youth recruitment. And they say, our proposal is a better idea. Right. So they've ignored me and they're going to do what they want to do anyway. <sighs> anyway, on the leaderboards, apparently... I am, when I click show myself, come on then, where am I? Show myself, show me, please. I mean, I don't know who's Rex Chan is guy, who's got 7 million points. How do you get points? I never understand how these leaderboards actually work. I mean, it's not working, so we'll, uh, we'll never actually know where I end up. It's a shame. Anyway, now that I press continue, we are officially a League One club, as you can see at the top of the screen right now. 23rd in at League One. Who's below us? Wickham. Ah, okay, that makes more sense. Right. First thing I want to do, season preview. 16th. Okay, that's reasonable. And like I said, I think we're good enough to stay up, but probably not good enough to be challenging, but good enough to not get relegated. So I feel like we are in a nice little spot here. But obviously we could do with a couple more signings to try and boost it up a little bit. And so as we reach the 30th of June, this is when contracts expire. And on the 1st of July, our new players join the club. And now I need to release all of these staff members as well, which is a little bit tedious, to be honest with you. Why don't they just leave? They always go into the month to month contracts, which is good because you, you know, I often forget about it. But the actual process of releasing them is really annoying to have to click through all of this all the time. Ha! Huh. Okay. I wasn't expecting this. Now, this is a guy called Namandi Collins, who used to play for Dortmund, and he got released, and he came on a scout report one time looking absolutely incredible. Like, championship standard, Premier League potential, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, wouldn't want to join Wrexham. But because he's on a shortlist, He's just come up with a contract being offered at another club. And I just clicked on it to see what happened. Approach to sign. He wants to join us. 
Star player, I mean, literally strength and everything. Um, can we get rid of those? Yes, suggest promise. He's always happy. This would be a huge signing if we could bring him into the club. Four and a half grand a week is worth it. Signing on fee is 56 grand, which is big for our club, but we'd have to afford it. Agent fee's big. Everything's big. Annoyingly, he's locked in a release fee clause, although it had to be part of the thing because he locked in on the promises. He locked, promises it was locked in. Well, maybe it wasn't locked in. But I'm pretty sure it was locked in, treat the club as a stepping stone, which locks in a release fee clause, basically. We can't make that any higher either. So, I mean, okay, we'll have to deal with that. Uh, get rid of promotion wage rise. Appearance fee is stupidly high. Can we get rid of that? And the unused substitute fee. And then bump up the agent fee to sort of make up for it a little bit. Clean sheet bonus. We won't keep many of those this season, I don't think so. Suggest he's happy. That could be a mental signing. And also at the same time, Liam Shepard and Louis Thompson join. So a right back or right wing back in Liam Shepard, League 2 player that's mm, gone down a little bit in the estimations from the scouts. He was leading, he's now a good League 2 player. But of course, Bryce Hosanna will play most of the time for us anyway. And then Louis Thompson comes in to be a ball winner, box to boxer. Like he's, he's, a, he's a decent player to fit in and around injuries as we need him. And he's a good League One player. Okay, happy with that. So immediately, uh, I will put these guys on to the bench. So Shepard as the backup right wing back. And then I will take Kieran Wallace off the bench and put on Liam Thompson. So I'm still keen to be selling Callum McFadzine. Offered to clubs, again, we'll just do like transfer list them unspecified sort of fee. Uh, ben Tozer, transfer, offer to clubs, transfer listing, please offer him out to clubs. Uh, Ollie Clark, of course, a player that I quite fancy selling at some point, offer to clubs and transfer list him. And Kieran Wallace, transfer, offer to clubs. I'll, I'm going to do it. Now, we tried to sell him for 125 grand, didn't we? I'll go and specify this time around and see what happens. Uh, annoyingly, Players that I don't want to sell are having bids made for them. Uh, Jim McBangle being one of them. Hmm. Reject all of those because they're not very good offers. Uh, I've pressed continue by accident. But in the meantime, uh, Boston want Max Cleworth on loan. Has he not been released yet? He's not been released yet. It's not even that good. Uh, yeah, you can have him, Boston. Absolutely fine. Take him away, please. Loans for Rob Street. Now, this is an interesting one. I want to have Rob Street in my team, but will he get the game time he needs to develop? Oh, I don't know. He was second top scorer in my National League last season. League One's a big step up. He doesn't necessarily fit into our system just yet. He could be a pressing forward as we like to play, but I'd like to use him as a target forward maybe. Doncaster or Salford? Both good teams, both want him as an important player. Season preview, Salford second, Doncaster fourth. Salford have got below average training facilities. Doncaster will have better ones, won't they? Doncaster, great facilities. Okay, right. Go on then. Go on then. Doncaster, I'll say yes to you. I accept Doncaster and I will reject Salford. Grimsby Town want Harry Boys though and that's not going to happen because I do want him playing in my team this season. He is a very good player and is going to be our backup left wing back. Ah, I don't think we're going to get Collins because, well, Hull have put a bid in. I'm not worried about that one. It's the bid from Bayern Munich that I'm a little bit concerned about. I think he might go there. Just something tells me. Morecambe want Jem Finley. Oh, again, we've got some really good players that I kind of want to keep hold of. But I don't think Morecambe are going to be that great. Season preview, Morecambe are 17th. No, we'll keep hold of him. Oldham want Kai Corbett, which is fine by me because he won't play in our first team at all. So I will accept that. Oldham are a pretty decent team. Uh, Sunderland... Want Wallace for £150,000. Brilliant. Yeah, take him. That sounds great. Thank you very much. Harrogate want Ronaldo, who's not going to play in our first team too much, I wouldn't have thought. So I'm happy for him to go out on loan to Harrogate, who are in the National League. Season preview. Our favourites to win the title. He will play as a regular starter. Yeah. Go. Loads of bids made for McFadden, which is great to see. Um, and big ones from Scotland. I will accept the bids from Ross County. And I'll accept the bids from Kilmarnock. The rest of them have got to... Yeah, select all. Offer an ultimatum to all these other clubs. 
and uh, see if see if they accept it. Also, I've been told about a draw for the Carabao Cup first round, and without pressing continue, it's already been done. We've got Blackpool. Also, while I think about it, which players have got expired contracts? That could be quite handy. They're all centre-backs or goalkeepers, positions that we don't actually need. I mean, theoretically, we could do with one left-back. I mean, theoretically, we could do with one left-sided centre-back and an attacking midfielder. So are any of these players left-footed centre-backs? Is Michael Rose a left-footed centre-back, weak left foot? But does actually look quite good. Was let go by Coventry. I mean, he's got good passing and marking and tackling and he's... Yeah, actually, he's not that bad, you know. But we need left foot. Left foot first and foremost. And Lloyd-Jones could be that man. Fairly strong left foot. Marking, passing, tackling, not quite as good, but he is tall as 6'4". Jumping reach high. I feel like I like this guy more because he has got the set-piece ability. Good for League One. Has just played a full season at Cambridge as well. And I like his ratings too. Whereas the other guy had barely played for like two seasons. For me, Lloyd-Jones is better. And with a name like Lloyd Jones, do you think he would have at least some Welsh nationality in him? Apparently not. I'll take the name though. I'll take the name. Approach to sign this guy. Important player, vice captain. What are you on about? Remove that. Regular starter suggest. He's happy with that. Okay. Fairly cheap contract as well for us. Uh, let's get rid of some of these clauses like unused substitutes, relegation released. No, we'll leave that in there to keep him happy actually. I don't think we'll get, I mean, what just now get relegated. Um, suggest that. What, 1.6 suggest? Good. And then I suppose we could do with an attacking midfielder as well. Uh, I tell you what, there's a guy on a free here from Peru, and that immediately captures my interest. Alex Robertson, who was at Man City, which is why I've got scout reports on him. We don't have scouts in Peru, so that's why I was very confused there. League One standard, championship potential. Has got bids on the table from, if this wants to ever... Right, I'll go on to transfer status. Forrest Green wants him. But also a whole host of Premier League and Championship clubs. We can't let Forrest Green have him. Although maybe with that sort of contract, we can. Maybe we can let him go to Forrest Green. That's an expensive contract that I am not willing to pay. He's not as good as Nemandy Collins. There's a guy here, 18-year-old Kian Philpotts. B plus save the scouts. Le oh, potential League 2. I mean, come on. There's actually not that many who are, like, good, available. Max Robson. Championship potential. League 2 current ability. Was at Tottenham. Uh, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say no. How much does he want as a breakthrough prospect? If the contract's good, and my assistant manager's suggesting less than a £1,000, suggest... Oh, well, he's changed... Okay, he's changed his tune. I'll tell you what, I'll walk away from it right now, but where is he? Max Robson. Uh, oh, he has got bids on the table, did I say? Oh, from Portsmouth. Oh, for goodness sake, Tommy, you've messed this one up, haven't you? I was going to offer him a trial instead, but I think we could have messed this one up a little bit. And I can't go back in now. Great. Well done, Tom. What about players listed for loan? That could be uh, a bit of a different one. Uh, Aaron Ramsey. Not the Aaron Ramsey, but a different Aaron Ramsey is listed for loan from Villa. Not a huge amount of info on him. League 2 standard championship potential. I mean, he only needs to be back up, really. The top guy here at Fulham. League 2 championship. Was on loan at Woking a couple of seasons ago. Played him a championship last season for Fulham once. We don't know too much about him. I think maybe I'll do a bit more scouting on them first. Okay, so Rob Street about to leave the club to Doncaster on loan. I'll accept it. I feel a bit bad doing it because I feel like he's proven himself. You know, well, he's had one good season with Barnet in the National League. We're now in League One. He's not as good. Look, if he does well at Doncaster, there's nothing else he can do then. Like, surely at that point, he'll have proved himself. It's just a little bit unlucky for him that I think our strongest area is our strikers. And they also now want Ronaldo, but only as a fringe player. Not sure I want him going as a fringe player. 
Like if you can make him a regular starter, lock it in. They accept that. Yeah, go on then. Now is he already going out somewhere, Ronaldo? He had two offers on the table, didn't he? One from Harrogate, one from Doncaster. I'll see which one he accepts because he's not really League 2 level. But playing for Doncaster would be better, particularly as a regular starter. And it's only until the next transfer window. We can get him out again in January. Okay, I'll reject the one from Harrogate. But Kieran Wallace is set to go to Sunderland. So that's a player leaving the club and some money coming in, which is quite nice. It's just a shame that, well, no one else really wants our players. So there's now £165,000 to spend. Are there players on the transfer list? Transfer listed players interested in a transfer to us. Moisa would be so good to bring in. He's such a good striker. Like, he has a very good goal scoring record throughout his whole career, but we don't need a striker. Rayhan Tulluk, I feel like he's a player that I've seen in the past. But again, a winger and a striker we don't need, but he has got championship potential. I'll be honest, I am struggling a little bit. We have a good team already. Like, it's not going to be a team that's going to be winning this division. But it's a team that should be good enough to, you know, make progress. I think this year is more of a transitional year. Like... We're at the point where a lot of players, as Sheffield Wednesday want Brandon Covey, can't have him. A lot of players that we have have got significant potential on them. And I think rather than just buying players for the sake of buying them, I do want to try and develop players this season. Hence Brandon Cover, I want him playing in our first team this season. He's now upset he can't get to Sheffield Wednesday. Mullen, can you sort this one out for me, please, first and foremost? And he can't. Well, we can't let you go because you're a first team player here. Also, the offer was terrible as well. Um, it was a really poor offer. So I'll accept, I'll accept 400,000 pounds for you. He says that's a bit too high. How about 300,000 pounds? He says a little bit high, 250 then, 250. We'll agree on that to keep him happy, but no one's gonna bid that for him. And uh, as expected, uh, Collins has joined Bayern Munich. I think when you've got the choice between Bayern Munich and Wrexham, even though we offered him more in wages, you probably choose Bayern. Must have been tough, though. Must have been really tough. Wow, OK. Um, Southampton want Jim Bangled on a permanent deal, but for £52,000. No way. You've got to be paying at least... A million for him. He's going to get very cross me though. Jim, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to reject this. But good news, FC United wants uh, Sarin on loan. Yes, please, take him. He needs that first team football, so hopefully he'll get that uh, where he's going at FC United. Uh, Jim at Bangwood, obviously very upset. Aaron Hayden, can you uh, sort this out for me? He won't. Oh, he can. Brill. Well, that was easy. I tell you what, I also think we need to maybe go back for one of these attacking midfielders. And I think Aaron Ramsey is a player that I am more inclined to go for. And you know what? As the pre-season friendlies start to get underway, Lloyd-Jones has joined Millwall. That's really frustrating he's gone there rather than come to us. But it's not the end of the world. We don't really need six centre-backs, do we? Like, three aren't going to get injured at the same time, are they? And if they are, it's a good way to promote. But also this Ben Lloyd guy, which I've just spotted and noticed, he could come in to be a backup player. Seems to play out wide and through the middle fairly well. Welsh. You know, he could be the answer to that sort of just little gap in the attacking midfield that we have. And he's available very cheaply as well. I like what I see. Also, Ronaldo's gone to Doncaster 2 to join Rob Street, which is good. Uh, Kai Corbett going to Oldham as well. So it's nice to see as well our young players are going to more clubs or better clubs each season too I should say like we are progressing which is good and I think I think because we are struggling to find players as well and the fact that I'd rather develop our own players that are already here I don't really feel the need to make too many more signings like I'd rather save the money invest it in facilities down the line and develop what we've got. But we are about to get another big chunk of money, £135,000 for Callum McFadzine. But again, he wasn't going to get used at all this season. Like, he was going to just sort of rot away in the reserves almost. Because I'd rather be playing Harry Boys 
if we do need a backup left sided player in defence because he's young and got talent. So I don't know, you guys might think I'm being a bit stupid here, but like there is no way we we're ever going to be able to target promotion this season. Season preview has us 15th, solid mid table. If we can get 15th, that's a big achievement in my opinion. We can't quite compete with the financial might of some of these other clubs, which is fair enough. One thing our club does have is potential loads of it and this is what we need to get out of these players over the next couple seasons like there's no point there's no point us bringing players in with potential if we're not going to develop them ourselves like we are going to have to settle for a mediocre season if it means we can play youngsters to develop to make ourselves better in the future and like you've seen a lot of these players will be able to be sold on for profit in the future now obviously we've not got quite great examples of that at the moment because the players we have sold for big money are Callum McFadden and Kieran Wallace, but they're players that we brought in for a free last season. The players that we brought in on freeze and develop ourselves, we can sell them for so much more profit when we develop them ourselves. So it's just the start of a big cycle, I think. So for me, I think the transfer special ends there. I'm not really thinking about making any more signings. You know, if someone comes along that's the right player, the right deal, yeah, I might grab them. But at the same time, I just can't see it happening. So, we're going to finish things up here today. I know it's maybe not the greatest transfer special, but hopefully you're with me on this youth development journey. I think that's critical this season. Like, if anything, maybe we've gone up too quickly to League One. Like, a lot of the players that we've got in this team, who we've developed, who were out on loan last season, are really good League Two players. And ideally... We'd play them all in League 2 at Wrexham. But obviously we're in League 1. We've got to play them in League 1. So they're going to develop quicker. But we're going to lose a lot of games in the process. Trust the process though. That's what I'm feeling this season. So thank you very much for watching today's episode. Slightly different one. But if it works out. We're going to sell a few of these players. For well over a million pounds I reckon. And on the way they're going to help us get to. Playoffs promotion at some point it'll be good so thank you very much for watching hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have done make sure you drop a like on the video for me subscribe to the channel if you're around here and of course leave a comment down below for the youtube algorithm until next time have a good one goodbye